Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Look at what I've got this week. A Parrot BPUP 2, but the power model. I was on the fence for quite a few weeks actually before I decided to buy the drone. I looked at reviews on the internet, but I was looking at reviews on the quality, on the build quality, and I'm, honestly, I did not find any. And uh, with the release of the new Parrot Anafi, this drone came down by like 30% in price. That basically makes this drone like half the price of a Mavic Air. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to take a chance, I'll buy it, and I'm glad I did, but I want to show you today a few things that you should know before you make a decision as to what to buy for your first, your second, or even your third drone. I want to spend a few seconds just to look at the box. This is the Parrot Beep of 2 Power reason for this I'll explain in a few seconds so the box has a handle so if you don't want to spend the extra money to get the carry case you could still use the box to carry your drone around first thing you see when you open the box is this label here telling you how to fly safely then you have your drone over here you remove this first uh, insert and you have all of your accessories your cables your chargers and you do get a set of four propellers. Let's have a look at the drone first. I must say that when I opened the box, I was pleasantly surprised by the design and the quality of the build. Very nice uh, plastics are used. You get uh, like this uh, two uh, shade here or, or two different finishes on the top of the drone. And this is electronic image stabilization. There is no gimbal. So there are a few advantages in having EIS. First is that you can get a lighter drone by not having a uh, gimbal mechanism. It's also cheaper to build a drone like this without a gimbal. And if you do have rough landings, it's like extremely unlikely you're going to damage a chip inside the drone, but likely you would damage a gimbal at the end of your drone. So this is the power edition. So it comes with two batteries. Again, very nice design. I just like it very much. The uh, capacity is also higher. This is 3,350 milliamps per hour. The standard BPUP2, I believe, is 2,700 milliamps per hour. So you have flights of 30 minutes according to Parrot. So I'm going to talk more about that in a few uh, minutes. So for the build quality of the drone, I give a solid rating of 9 out of 10. Now let's have a look at the Sky Controller 2. A little different from the standard uh, Bebop 2, uh, which has a white finish here. This one is all black. Uh, Parrot claims a range of 2 kilometers or 1.2 miles with this uh, a big antenna. Uh, first impression when I took it in my hands, listen, cheap plastic, like the feeling of the controller of my uh, cheaper uh, unique Breeze 4K was much better, so I would have preferred a higher quality plastic here. But nice uh, buttons, uh, when you fly high you can tilt your smartphone like this to have it at a nice angle, but if you fly far away, uh, just above the, uh, the ground, you cannot tilt it like towards you look at this look at this angle here it doesn't come down more which is unfortunate I don't know why it was designed that way and I like details as you know and uh, I look at a and B I have a good memory but sometimes I don't so why a and B like this is for pictures or photo and most people understand the word photo now so why not call this P same with video you know whether you're in China Russia or whatever uh, people know what video is, so why not V and P? So again, a small detail, but that's something I would have done. So I give a rating of 8 for the Sky Controller. The amazing deal about the BPUP2 Power is not only you get two batteries with a longer flight time, but you also get goggles, and this is the... Uh, cockpit glasses model 2. They're different than with the standard BPOP. Uh, you can here adjust the uh, distance between the lenses. They are smaller, easier to carry. Uh, they actually 
fold in as you can see here to make it even smaller and you just pull it to extend it just like this so very nice I haven't tried them yet I flew my drone a few times I'll say more about that at the end uh, I haven't had the chance to try this I'll do maybe a separate video but on the scale of 1 to 10 again I give this a rating of 8 it's well designed and well built now let's have a look at the charging uh, function and this is where things are getting ugly. Uh, I have to tell you right now, I give a score of 5 out of 10, unfortunately. So this is a cable that we connect here to charge. I was expecting really like a cradle, like the DJI design or even my unique Breeze 4K is a nice cradle charger. Now we have this uh, cable. Not only that, when you want to charge the Sky Controller, oh, uh, it doesn't fit so you have to remove this cable attach this cable here to the charger and then you can charge your sky controller why not instead have designed a standard micro USB connector everybody at home has a micro USB cable and there you go you charge it and you don't have to supply a cable so you save some money now that you don't have to swap cables, why not have a design where this is a bit longer? You could have the like a cradle, like mounted like this, for example, and then you could charge your battery just vertically, like in a cradle. This would have been fantastic, but instead, this is what Para did. I'm not very happy with that solution. And on top of that, it gets very hot. A bit disappointing. Like if it gets hot, that's not good long term. And you look at my one of my uh, Traxxas uh, chargers, vents. This is the way to do it, to minimize the heat buildup. Even rubber pads so you don't damage your table or it doesn't slide all over the place. So this is too hot in my opinion. Maybe it's only my unit, but I would prefer the charger to run cooler. So a score of 5 out of 10. In closing, I want to mention that you also get a nice booklet, like a quick uh, start guide, and you get a free promo code for the follow me function, which is nice. You have to pay this normally as an in-app uh, purchase. I think it's like 15 or $20. Uh, so in closing, I want to mention that I buy my drones. Uh, what I tell you guys is unbiased. Uh, a lot of YouTubers get the drones for free, but I buy all of my uh, stuff. So, with the current introduction of the new Parrot Anafi, this whole set here is currently uh, reduced in pricing and you basically get this for half the price of the Mavic Air. I think it's a great deal, you get two batteries. Of course, we all know that the quality of the video is not as good as the Mavic Air or the Mavic Pro, but they are much more expensive and the quality, in my opinion, is still very good. I've done like 20 flights so far in the wind, uh, no crash, went very well, stable. I'm going to post a few videos and you won't believe the quality of the electronic image stabilization in this drone. So very, very nicely done. I'm going to test the range, test the battery uh, flight time, and I'll post different videos on that. So thank you everybody for watching and if you have any questions on the drone, post them down below. I'll be happy to help you. Have a great day. Goodbye guys.